Well, it's not just today's weather that's had people along the shoreline of Lake Ontario worried. They have been dealing with damaging high waters for many months. But News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski says it's not just homeowners being impacted. The Evan Spirit is in the port of Oswego today, taking on a load of soybeans headed for Canada. But for many months now, the port itself has been taking on water from high levels on Lake Ontario. If we get 20 or 30 mile an hour winds, the waves actually breach the dock, splash into the warehouse. So that's why we have to do sandbagging dams. Because inside the warehouse are tons and tons of the port's biggest cash crop, soybeans, that need to stay dry. Well, the waves are also crashing over and seeping into the electric scales used to weigh trucks and rail cars coming in and out, often loaded with soybeans. And further out, the multi-million dollar rail spur just built so the port can store even more material is being badly damaged. The road is built on a gravel and rock base. The continued high waters and waves have washed away the wall so much here that it's undermining the road all the way over to here where you can start to see the stress fractures in the concrete. It's usable, but not for heavy traffic. Okay, so yeah, so we do do yeah. grain cars out of it, uh, uh, aluminum cars. That weight is not restrictive, okay. but when you bring in the heavy uh, projects, mm -hmm. then it restricts it. Like the Army Corps of Engineers project set for July to fix the break wall, so it will better stop or slow down high waves from bashing the port. The only benefit of high levels in Ontario, chips like this one, can load more material. Probably doesn't outweigh the cost of all the damage the water is causing here. At the Port of Oswego, Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9.